Hey, just sitting here on this beautiful day and wanted to share something that I experienced. Yesterday, I was invited to go to Franklin, Columbia, Tennessee and shoot some video and sharing my heart and story. Um, it was an amazing experience, so I wanted to share it. I got to sit down from this producer, a complete stranger to me, but who has an incredible heart for the Lord. And I, of course, knew what I wanted to say going in. That was, that was easy. But what was so crazy was that God did something extraordinary. Because as I'm sitting here across from Frank, he challenged me so much to think about my life experiences in a new way. I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it. He helped me see things in my own journey that I had never fully felt the depths of and how God had worked in my life and what it meant for him to share grace and pour grace on my life. So it was just a neat moment that God used for me to have something that, you know, I was going to control it. I knew what I was going to say. And with this complete stranger, it went directions I never expected or planned. And I had a few funny moments in it where, for example, um, I, I got home and I was telling my husband about all about it. I was telling Kirk all about it. And I was like, I know I misrepresented or misquoted or something like, I know I misquoted the Bible because you know me and details. And uh, we laughed about it. Uh, but I thought, you know, I don't even care because it was real and it was raw and it's me and I'm not a detail person and I I misquote things all the time that's just who I am I don't mean to but I do and so be it it was real and it was me and I'm so thankful I got that opportunity um and afterwards we did a photo shoot kind of thing which I'm like dear lord I've never done this in my life but we did this photo shoot kind of thing and I, I they said here walk across the street and uh we're gonna get some video footage of you walking across a busy square downtown area. I'm like, oh my Lord, I'm in heels. I don't wear heels. Like I didn't even own any. I had to go buy some just for this event. <laughs> so I'm like, oh dear Lord, I have to walk across the street in these hills. Well, <laughs> what was hilarious about it is like they do didn't fully fit me. Like I thought they did, but when I had to actually start like really walking across the street, like girl, get your business done. They are falling off of me. And I like, I would take five steps losing my shoe. Let's try that again. Five steps and I'm losing my shoe. I finally just had to like, you know, just do it. Even with my shoe barely hanging on. <laughs> I was like a geriatric patient trying to walk across the street or a little girl in her mom's heels. It was so humbling and so funny but there I was. So I wanted to share. I love how God takes what we want to be nice and tidy and perfect. And he turns it into what he wants. And that is what I experienced yesterday. I wanted it to be all perfect and all pretty. And my story, how I want it presented and what I want to say. And God had another plan. So I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful for this amazing creative guy on the other side of the camera who shared my story in a way I didn't even know was possible. Helping me to see God's miracle in my life in ways I didn't even fully see until that very moment. I hope God brings moments like that into your life where you know he just shows up and says, girl, you have no idea. Let me tell you what I've done for you.